the other aspect of this, and, and I'm going to jump into some questions again soon is selling. Okay. This is the dirty little secret of the bullion industry that I didn't know about until I actually spoke with Matt and his company. And they're like, Hey, we don't charge sellback fees. And I was like, what, what do you mean? Sellback fees? And so when I started looking around, most dealers charge sellback fees. Okay. A sellback fee means that when I buy bullion, right? Like think about it. If you buy gold, how many people in your life are going to buy it from you when you're ready to sell? Okay. For me, like my friends and family, they're not people that are like, you know, yeah, yeah, we have 20 grand. We'll buy your gold from you at, at spot price, Jerry, go ahead and sell it to us. That's not, that's not them. Right. So I have to figure out who do I sell it to. It's not going to be a pawn shop. I know that they're going to rip me off. So I would generally speaking, I would go back to the place I purchased it from or, or whoever the, the big name is in the market. I'm going to find online like best bullion or whatever. I'm going to look there and I'm going to say, hey, will you guys buy my bullion? Okay. So this is the thing that nobody knows because they don't tell you up front until you go to sell. Okay. These bullion um, companies usually charge sellback fees. Okay. So a sellback fee looks like this. When I go to sell, they're going to look at the market and they're going to say, okay, what's the market? Is there a lot of, of bullion available? And if there is, then, you know, it's plentiful. We don't really need it that bad. And so we're going to charge a really high fee because we can go buy it from anyone. So if you want us to buy yours, you know, make us an offer, you know, pay us a good fee. And they're usually going to charge one to 3% of the sale price, right? Now, that might not sound like a big deal. You're like, oh, that's not huge. Okay, but think about this. When you sell it, you're selling it for more than you paid, right? Why would you want to tax the, har the harvest? Why would you want to pay fees on, on the higher price at the end? You already paid fees to purchase it, right? Why would, you, why would you also pay fees on the back end? Okay, and this is why the bullion shops do this. If they can buy, they buy at spot, right? So they're looking at paying spot. If they can buy at 97% of spot, meaning they're buying at a 3% discount. And then when they sell it, they're going to sell it for 3% more than spot. They just doubled their profit on the same bullion. Same ounce of gold, they're going to make 6% now instead of three. This is how used car dealerships work. Same exact system right? You turn in your car, you already know you're not going to get a good price for it. You already know that they're going to pay you under market value because that's how they make their profit. And then when they sell it, they're going to mark it up and they're going to charge way more than it's actually worth. And that's how they make their profit on the sale. Bullion is the same exact way. Okay. So I don't want to pay those sellback fees ever, right? To me, that's stupid. Why would I pay to purchase and then also pay to sell? When I'm selling, I'm helping them. I'm giving them inventory. Even if I sold it to them at spot, that's already a deal because they can't even buy at spot from a wholesaler. The wholesaler is going to charge them spot plus a fee, right? So, so I don't want to, like, I'm already going to give them a deal at spot. I don't want to pay them 3% or 2% or 1% on top of that just to sell the bullion on a larger number, right? So I want to show you guys the math on this really quick, and then I'm going to open this up for some more questions. So let's say that I buy $20,000 worth of gold. Okay, I'm just going to show you the difference here. Okay, so I buy $20,000 worth of gold. And we'll say um, retail. And then we'll say wholesale. Okay, I'm going to do this on my calculator. So you guys won't be able to see all of the numbers, but I'm going to type them out as they go. So both of them, I put in $20,000, right? I'm going to buy 20 grand worth of gold. Okay, on retail, let's say that I pay a 3% fee, which means that I'm only actually going to be able to buy $19,400 worth of gold, right? So I've got $19,400 worth of gold. Let's say that I sell it, or, or sorry, I store it in a vault, right? And I, and I keep it there for 10 years and the entire time it's earning an 8% annual rate, right? So I've got, I put in 20,000 and I did that times 10 years, and it's earning 8% per year while it's there. Okay, so we're all tracking with this so far, right? Now, 20,000 in, but I paid those fees because it's retail, right? Let's say that I'm also paying storage and my storage is 1%. Okay, 
Okay. And then at the end of that 10 years, what do I have? Okay. So we're going to look at this whole equation. So I put it in 20,000, paid a 3% fee up front, paid 1% annually in storage. I'm making 8% a year. And when I, when I sell it, there's a sellback fee of let's say 2%. Okay. They charge me 2% to buy my bullion back. Okay. So that means that I'm only actually getting 98% of what I'm selling for because I'm paying them 2% to sell it back to them. So at the end of this, I did make money, right? But I'm going to have $42,199.80. Okay. After, after 10 years, right? So the difference here, let's look at wholesale. Wholesale, same deal. I buy it, hold it for 10 years at 8% a year. Okay, but on wholesale, there's no fees. I'm, I'm getting my money's worth for bullion. They're not charging me extra fees, right? So I'm actually getting the true value of what I'm putting in, okay? So 20,000 goes in. Let's say that my storage is, is you know, 0.75 instead of 1%. I'm able to save 25 basis points on storage, right? And you can get it down even lower. You can maybe even go 0.50, but let's, let's just give the benefit of the doubt and say, I get 0.75% storage cost instead of 1%. Okay. So what does that do for me? Right? So at the end of this, because I didn't have any sell fees or sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No sell fees, no, no, no buy fees. And then cheaper storage at the end of this, this comes out to 44,000 $392.80, right? So I made over $2,000 difference, okay? And that's, that's on a very small amount. If you scale this out, this is on $20,000 put in once. Imagine like some of my clients, I had a guy send me a picture today and I can't post it here. I wish you could. Like, like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of gold, okay? And this adds up. So if you look at the, just the scale of this on a tiny little $20,000 purchase over a 10 year period, this came out to over $2,000 difference. Retail cost me two grand. Wholesale, I made more than two grand just because I had lower fees, right? Now, if we scale this out and we say, well, what if it was a hundred thousand? Okay. What if it was half a million? Like what if it was some real serious numbers we're playing with at that point? Okay. So this is how you get the advantage on bullion. This is guys, this is literally like you, 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 you're making your money back on, on literally just the savings, right? Same exact purchase, same exact everything. The difference is, is I didn't have to pay the fees to get in. Okay. I didn't have the same storage costs. Right. And then I didn't have the selling fees. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprint to Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Hey, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call, and we're able to help out and answer questions. That's how we can help you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on and I will talk to you guys on the next video.